viewers i welcome all of you to our sky riders youtube channel so in the past i have shown you a lot of videos if you remember we had discussed about we had seen the uh, hydraulic uh, food truck we have seen a hydraulic garbage van and in today's video i have got you another one vehicle which is a complete new innovation on our side which is a battery operated fully electric ambulance which is very appropriate very appropriate for indoor transportation inside the hospitals so if you see we have the vehicle right in front of us we have the complete vehicle right in front of us so before before going on to all the specifications let's just have a clean complete walk around of the vehicle with us so if i start with the front of the vehicle so if i come up to the front of the vehicle you have a very clean look right here you have the basic features of an ambulance starting with a uh, a light on top of the vehicle you have the siren which is the very which is a very important feature because with the siren we get to know whether it's an ambulance or any kind of emergency vehicle so you have the uh, you have the uh, siren on top of it you have projector led headlamps right here with drls in them you have the company's logo and you have the front windshield along with that you have your outside manually adjusted rear view mirrors now if you come to the side of the vehicle this also gives you a very clean look not not a lot of fuss not a lot of features right here very basic and very much up to the purpose so you have four wheels in this normally we had vehicle uh, wherein we used to have three wheelers but this is a four wheeler right in front of you these vehicle has four wheels has a three spoke steering wheel and on your back you also have a stretcher now it's an ambulance it has to serve the purpose of carrying people or carrying patients from the hospital's entry to the to the uh, casualty wards so you have the stretcher wherein you can carry your patient you have your turn indicators and the stop lamp and on the side you have two seats for your attendants you can have two attendants along with a driver and one more attendant at the front so that was all about the walk around of the vehicle this is what you get to see when you when you go around this vehicle now if you come up to to close up if you come up for a close up view first i would start with the rear portion of the vehicle wherein you have a stretcher as i had mentioned you have a stretcher right here and you have certain other uh, practical bits like you have a hook right here you have a hook right here to 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 carry the saline around you have a hook right here to carry the saline around you have a stretcher now we can also remove this stretcher and in order to carry in order to carry the patient you can completely remove it out and can put the pre, uh, patient on it and this boundary or this wall that you see this wall is completely adjustable here in you see two bolts right these are the two bolts and then there are two other bolts which we can with the help of which we can uh, you know lift this barrier up so that we can carry the patient in a lot more safer manner now what let's do one thing let's take the stretcher out of this vehicle now stretching uh, taking the stretcher out of this vehicle is a very easy task this stretcher in here has been contained here with the help of the so in order to get the stretcher down this is how you open up the lock and here in you have it the stretcher completely comes out over not a very big task you can load up your patient and once the patient is loaded you have channels right here let me show you we have the channels right here wherein the wheels of the stretcher can easily get in and out of the vehicle so these channels will help the help to guide you the stretcher into the ambulance so that you can load up the patient as fast as possible so let's just put the stretcher back in place That's how you lock it. This is how you can load the patients up. Now, if we come down into the uh, into the front portion of the vehicle, here in let me show you what are the various features at the front of the vehicle. You have a three-spoke steering wheel, which looks very good. That gives a that gives a very attractive look right here. So, if I come into the vehicle, this is what I get to see. So, you have the three-spoke steering wheel right here with the company's branding in between. Here's a stock. in order to operate your side indicators your your uh, you know in order to make your vehicle move in either the forward or the reverse direction and certain other functions like the horn itself the stock has the horn in it itself 
then you have the ignition key right here and there are certain very very few but simple yet very uh, effective switches in here so you have basically three switches one of the switch operates the uh, front headlamp one of the switch is for the uh, siren or the uh, emergency light on the top and the other other button is for the siren of the vehicle then there you have your foot operated pedals which is this one is your throttle pedal here you have your brake and on your left hand side you have your parking brake of the vehicle so this was all about your uh, 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 you know uh, basic uh, features on the driver's side of the vehicle now if i come in a bit more deep herein i have the uh, irvm or the internal rear view mirror which you can adjust and uh, have a good view of what's behind you and then you have the orvms which i had mentioned these are manually adjustable to have a good view of what's around then you have a small lamp as well a roof mounted lamp so that you can have a clear view of what's going in around so let me just uh, show you or let me just uh, walk you through the technical specifications of the vehicle so this vehicle uh, is is uh, equipped with a 48 volt lithium ion battery that could run your vehicle well up to 40 to 70 kilometers basically there are two different variants of this particular uh, ambulance in one variant the battery can carry the vehicle up to 40 kilometers and in the other variant it will go up to 70 to 80 kilometers and needs about 3 to 4 hours for getting fully charged if I talk about the motor, this vehicle comes equipped with a brushless DC motor that is a capacity that has a capacity of 1500 watts, right? So these are the basic technical specifications of your vehicle. Now let me just show you where is the battery of the vehicle mounted. So in this vehicle, the battery is mounted inside the driver's seat. So here then you have a very simple lock mechanism. You can simply open the lock up and you can lift the seat in this manner to have your battery so herein you have your lithium ion battery which i was talking to you about this is a 48 volt battery pack that would carry your vehicle to 70 kilometers and will uh, uh, charge itself to completely full in three to four hours of time and you have the all the basic features of any electric vehicle like it has the charger it has a controller and it also has a very good feature of fire protection in case your vehicle short circuits or any kind of short circuiting god forbid take place in your vehicle you have a fire safety protection which will prevent your bat uh, vehicle from burning up into flames so that was all about the basic features of your uh, 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 you know ambulance now let's just for once turn the lights up let's turn the vehicle up so that we can see uh, uh, what it's like now unlike ic engine vehicles the, the vehicle won't sound up so uh, let me just turn the headlamp of the vehicle first so these are the headlamps as you can see these are the projector projector uh, uh, headlamps with a drls which can be switched on or either off then let me turn on for you the top siren lamp so this is your emergency lamp as you can see on top and lastly the most important feature of any ambulance by which we get to identify it is the siren so a loud and clear siren which the vehicle comes with so you can very easily uh, you know use these kind of vehicles inside your hospital premises or in any kind of areas wherein indoor transportation of patients is necessary Coming to the rear side, you have two emergency lights, two emergency lights blinking on the back as well for a clear indication to the passengers at the rear. And you have your stop lamp and your turn indicator. So that's all about the, the uh, major features of your ambulance. Now if I, if I turn the side indicators on, let's just have a look of the side indicators. So that's how uh, you have your side indicators glowing. So this was all about our latest innovation of this fully battery operated ambulance. Now, in order to get in touch with us, we'll put all the uh, instructions or all the details or contact details in the description box. You can reach out to us through Facebook, WhatsApp, or Instagram and through our YouTube comment section as well. Although we agree this vehicle is quite up to the mark, but if you have any suggestions to make this vehicle a lot more better, do give in your comments so that we can uh, uh, make this vehicle a lot more, lot more better. In order to get in touch, follow us on our social media pages, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, 
Instagram and do subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and do comment your views on this. Thank you. Now, before you sign off, let's just have or let me show you a quick drive of this vehicle, how this vehicle goes around.